Hello everybody. So last week we started looking at something we have to remember when we're adding suffixes to some words, okay? And that rule was swapping the Y for an I before a suffix. So hopefully you remember that, that's still fresh in your mind. We're going to be looking at a different suffix this week and it's the ED suffix. So just to recap quickly, remember suffixes are letters that go on the end of a word and they change the meaning of that word. Okay, so the suffix ed. For example, we can turn the root word jump into the word jumped. We can turn the root word play into the word played. So can you remember, what does the suffix ed do to words? Well, the suffix ed puts verbs into the past tense. We've used it when we've used the simple past tense. And that's to show that an action has been completed or something has happened. So, for example, I played with my friends. It's something that I did, something that has been completed. I jumped over the fence. Again, something that has happened. Okay? So, for root words ending with Y, it's the same as before. You swap the Y for an I and add ED. So, for example, for the word cry, it ends with a Y. So we get rid of the Y, swap it for an I, and add ED. Same for hurry, swap the Y for an I, and add ED. And the same for worry as well. Okay, so for root words ending with a Y, we swap the Y for an I, and then add ED. There is an exception alert here though, words that don't follow this rule. So play and stay are examples of words that don't follow the swap the Y rule, and there's a reason for that, okay? So play and stay, they end with long vowel sounds, A, okay? And there is a vowel before the Y. So in play, the letter A is before the Y. In stay, the letter A is before the Y. So if there is a vowel before the Y in the root word, then keep the Y, okay? So just to confuse things there for us. So to recap then, for most root words, the end with a Y, we swap the Y for an I and add ED. However, where there is a root word that has a vowel before the Y, we keep the Y. Okay, so that's something we'll need to practice. And that's why you'll see in our spelling list this week, just to tri trip us up a little bit, I've added in stay, which doesn't follow the rule the rest of them follow. Okay, so our spellings this week, the root words are try, cry, worry, hurry, carry, fry, copy, and stay. For all of those words apart from stay, we swap the Y for an I and then add ED. However, for stay, because it ends with a vowel, then the letter Y, we keep the Y and just add ED. Okay, hope that makes sense. We'll be practicing it in school, but please do practice at home. Remember, swap the Y for an I, unless it's a vowel before the Y. That one's less catchy, isn't it? Good luck.